What's up, you guys? It's been a while since you've seen me in here, in the art studio. It's my Friday and my wife's tired and my roommates are tired, so I got my fake beer and my cigarettes and I'm just gonna listen to some music and do some art. And I realized, oh, and by the way, I sell art. If you guys ever wanna try to buy one of my pieces, this is one I just did, I really like that one. But I started with uh, my odd art painting rags. Sorry if that's kind of loud. These are um, magnetic and that's metal. You guys are on metal right now. But I want to say hi to you guys and let you know that I'm happy to be happy. I hope that you guys are happy. And I want to paint a rag tonight. It's been a while. And it's also been a while since I've used paint paint. I mean, I, this is paint paint. But a lot of the time, my art is done with like good, in my opinion, high-end paint pens. Because it's just the fluid, fluidity and the speed, you can just get right into it and go. So I've been doing kind of a hybrid, but it'd be fun to do some painting, painting, painting. Do any of you guys paint? I should have gone live on this one. You can hear my roommate over there, just got home. Just helped a an old lady or a young lady, because unfortunately she got hurt, so Kevin went and protected her because Kevin was a sweetheart and he does that kind of thing. But I'm trying to ask you guys if you do art, any kind of art, what's your passion? Do you like cars? Do you play music like I do? It's always good to have something <clears throat> to get the feeling out, whatever that feeling may be. It's healthy. So I just want to say hi to you guys and let you know that art is calling. I've been wanting to play guitar. The band has been trying to record oops, my favorite song that I've ever written, and I've been a musician for 25 years. Um, we've been trying to record the song and every time something happens and I and I had to do the song sober because the whole song is it's called Old Friend and it's not on any of our three albums um, because I want the song has to be done sober like I am now I've been sober for like three and a half months coming up on four but I enjoy my fake beer and just anyhow so we're trying to record these this one song that I know very well because I've been playing it for 15 years and every time we go to record it something happens in the audio It'll be like a buzz or a blip. And if you're a musician, you know what I'm talking about. Something just pops up and messes up the song. It's like, man, I just want to record the song hella bad. Blue. What kind of blue? That's a really light blue. Just want to say hi to you guys show you the cool background and the atmosphere. Come in. Come in. Borrow a lighter tomorrow. Just, just keep this one. Right, well, I'll give you can have it. No, just take that one and keep Are it. Are you sure? Yeah, it's good mojo on it. Thank you. Love you, brother. Love you, too. Caleb's okay, been one of my best friends forever. <laughs> my roommate. One of the funny things, too, is uh, when we were kids, our first apartment ever was together all those years ago, and now we're living together again. Just like my kid calls him Uncle Kevin. It's been my live and die homie. We were in our first band together called AGP. And that band had two bass players. They had distorted bass and clean bass. Which is fun and unheard of, and we were just a fun, weird punk rock band. Every now and then I can get them to play some bass, but it's not that often. Good bass player, great punk musician. I do just want to paint, which is fun because when you're depressed, you don't want to do the arts. And I'm, right now, I'm feeling very happy and grateful. And seemingly, at least at this point, this exact point, I'm not depressed. And it's been a while. I've been hella depressed for a while. It's nice not to be. Working has a huge part with that. 
and finally being a sous chef after many, many years working in kitchens. It's prideful. I'm very proud of that. And we're going to add to the menu soon. Because we're getting uh, the flat top and some fryers. This has to be checked off for the legal stuff. Because we're already going to make other stuff, but now we can. My chef and I, my chef is going to create a new menu. And he's like, dude, if you got some stuff, man, let's, let's throw it on. To be on a menu as a chef is massive. It's super duper prideful and I was just like, yes, man, after all these years, it's finally, finally going good. It is stressful and it is hard work. If you've ever worked in a kitchen, you know what I'm talking about. It's chaotic and extreme, but if you love it, you love it and I love it. I love to cook. One day I pray to have my own church where I can feed the homeless. Also have meals for decent prices for people to enjoy some really cool and fun food and to help the community. God willing, one day I'll have that. And all this is training for that, you know what I mean? Sorry, I'm just rambling, having fun. So I'm gonna paint this and I'll, I'll post a picture on my YouTube here. My name's Seven Kirt and thank you for checking that out if you're hanging out. And I'm just rambling, I'm happy. But I'll post a photo of this done or, or how I feel to leave it at that time on my uh, on this channel. So cool. I appreciate you guys. God bless.